Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Mural. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Mural works. So if you have no idea about Mural and how to get started, then this video is for you. Mural is a powerful digital collaboration tool that helps teams work together remotely, brainstorm ideas, and visually communicate complex concepts. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of how to get started with Mural, including how to create a new Mural and use the various tools and options available. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Mural tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First click on Sign Up Free Forever. Then fill out the sign up form by entering your first name, last name, and email. Once you've signed up, the next step is to create a workspace. Enter the name of your workspace and invite team members if you wish. Inviting members is optional. After entering the necessary information, click on Save and Continue. You will then need to select your team's department from the drop down menu. There are various departments to choose from, such as Consulting, Customer Support, Design, and Education, among others. Select the appropriate department for your team and then choose the role of your team from the drop down menu. Once you have made your selections, click Continue. You will then be redirected to your workspace. When you first log into Mural, you will be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard is designed to be simple and easy to navigate. On the left side of the dashboard, you will see a left navigation panel. This panel includes several options such as the Plus New Mural button, Home, Recent, Starred, and Workspace. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Mural and then I will show you how we can use Mural. The plus new Mural button is a particularly useful feature that allows you to create a new Mural from scratch. A Mural is a visual collaboration canvas that can be used to brainstorm ideas, plan projects, and organize information. Clicking on the plus new Mural button will open the Create Mural modal, where you can start a Mural from a blank canvas or choose from a pre-existing template. The Home tab is the default page you see when you log into your Mural account. On the Home tab, you will see a list of your recently opened Murals, as well as recommended templates for creating new Murals. The Recent tab is another important part of the Mural dashboard. This tab displays a list of all the Murals that you have opened recently. This can be useful if you are working on several different projects and need to quickly access a specific Mural that you were recently working on. The Starred tab helps you see a list of all the murals, rooms, and workspaces that you have starred for quick access. This can be useful if you have a particular mural or workspace that you need to access frequently and don't want to have to navigate through the dashboard to find it. The Workspace section is where you can access all of the workspaces that you have created. This section is further divided into different options, including workspaces, murals, templates, and rooms. Under the Workspaces section, you will see all of the workspaces that you have created. These workspaces are displayed in a list format, making it easy to find the one you need. The Murals tab is where you can access all of your recently opened murals as well as any murals that you have starred for quick access. Additionally, this section displays recently modified murals within your workspace, allowing you to keep track of changes and updates. The Templates tab shows all of the mural templates that are available to you, including any that you have used in your workspace and those you have starred for quick access. This can be a helpful resource if you are looking for inspiration or need to create a new mural quickly. Finally, the Rooms tab displays all of the recently opened rooms within your workspace. This tab displays the rooms that you have starred as well as the opened and private murals. This makes it easy to quickly access the rooms and murals that you need to collaborate effectively within your workspace. If you're planning to collaborate with your team, a new mural is an ideal platform to get started. A mural serves as the canvas where you can add, create, and edit your content with your teammates. Creating a new mural can be done from any page on your dashboard. Simply select a workspace and a room to store your mural. If you're creating a mural from within a room, it will be stored in that room by default, but you can always change that later. To create a new mural, click on the Plus New Mural button located in the top left corner of the dashboard. A pop-up window. Next, you can select either an infinite blank canvas or a resizable blank canvas as your starting point. Alternatively, you can choose one of the available templates, which always opens on an infinite canvas. After making your selection, click on the Create Mural button. 
Now you will be instantly brought to your new mural where you can start adding ideas to your canvas or invite other collaborators to kick things off. Once you are inside your new mural, you will have access to a variety of tools that will help you design your ideas. The left-hand side of the mural contains a left sidebar where you can find options such as sticky notes, text, shapes and connectors, draw, icons, images, frameworks, tables, content library, and import files. Sticky notes can be used to add notes to your mural. When you click on this option, you will see three types of sticky notes, square, rectangle, and circle, all available in different colors. The text allows you to add headings, paragraphs, and comments to your mural. Shapes and connectors can be used to add shapes and create diagrams or illustrate ideas with connectors. The draw option allows you to draw on the mural. You can choose from different pens available to draw your drawing perfectly. Icons can be used to add icons to your mural. You can pick an icon from the given icons or search for a specific icon using the search box. Images allow you to add images to your mural. You can import a new image from your computer or search for an image across the web. You can also use stock images. Frameworks helps you to search and drag frameworks to organize your content visually. Tables allow you to add tables to your mural. The content library allows you to drag and drop the content you have saved to build your mural quickly. Import files allows you to import files from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Besides the left sidebar, there are four toolbars located at the top of the mural interface. The first toolbar offers options to rename your mural, undo and redo changes, and download your mural. Additionally, you can use the search function to find specific items to add to your mural. The second toolbar on top contains a timer, voting feature, private mode, laser pointer, and custom toolbar. The timer allows you to time box activities and keep your team on track during remote meetings. It helps to ensure that activities and discussions stay within a specific time frame, allowing for more efficient collaboration. With the timer feature, you can set a specific duration for activity and monitor the remaining time, helping to increase productivity and keep the team focused. Voting allows you to gather feedback and input from your team or collaborators. You can start a voting session and have everyone in your mural vote on a specific idea or solution. This can be useful for decision making or prioritizing tasks. Participants can choose from different options and see the results in real time. Private mode allows you to limit the visibility of content within a mural to only yourself. This means that other collaborators' content will be hidden from view while you are in private mode. It can be useful for individuals who need to work on their own ideas without distractions or interruptions from other team members' content. The laser pointer is a virtual tool that you can use to draw attention to specific content on the mural during a presentation or explanation. It allows you to quickly highlight important sections and engage collaborators in a way that mimics an in-person session. The laser pointer feature is a helpful tool for keeping participants focused and engaged during remote collaboration sessions. The custom toolbar in Mural is a feature that allows you to limit the visual thinking tools that the collaborators can access during workshops or sessions. The third toolbar provides tools for outlining, leaving comments, managing members, and sharing your mural. Lastly, the final toolbar offers options such as help, mural basics, and profile settings. At the bottom of the interface, there are several options including reaction, move mode, navigation settings, maps, and zoom in and out. These tools enable you to efficiently navigate and organize your murals. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using mural. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.